Good evening, y'all. I said evening. I've been in here for a while, but the things I've already fixed, y'all have already seen me make. Um, I'm having some guests for supper tonight, so I'm going to fry chicken, and I'm going to make mashed potatoes and milk gravy, and I'm having green beans that I can, and you've seen me cook the green beans, you've seen me make mashed potatoes, and I'm going to have... Um, a corn dish that I haven't made for y'all before. So here's another great side dish for you to put in that little section of your book you're keeping. When my dad passed away, the church where they went served the family food, and it was fried chicken and all the trimmings. But they had this uh, corn fixed, and I fell in love with it, and I've been making it ever since because I, of course, asked for the recipe. It's simple. You use one or two bags of frozen sweet corn, whole kernel corn, and I bought the big old bag the other day at the store and used a little bit out of it and I'm just using what's left. So I would say I've got about maybe six or eight cups of corn in my pot here. And all you do is you bring your corn to a simmer and let it get kind of tender and then drain it. And then I'm going to add butter, cream cheese, and green chilies to it. Y'all, this is delicious. Now, if I don't have the canned green chilies, either or, I'll take two or three uh, fresh jalapenos and seed them and chop them and put them in here. But I didn't have any fresh ones today. I don't think I'm going to look one more. I've got a couple of ice boxes. So I'm going to look in the other one and see if there's any in there. But I'm going to bring y'all along for this because it's a good side dish. And a lot of times on holidays, this is one of the things I fix because my bunch likes corn. You know, pigs like corn. And I got little piglets and some big old hogs too. Anyway, I'm going to uh, put this on the stove and just let it get tender. Then I'll strain it and then when I add all the goodness to it, I'll show y'all what I'm doing. But see, it's just a pot of corn. And I'm going to put a little salt in it. Maybe a half a teaspoon and let it cook and then I'm going to strain it and um, we'll go from there. I'm going to give you something to look forward to. I've been wanting a tagine which is a cooking vessel but it's also the name of what they cook in the vessel depends on how you're using the word for a long time and they're a little bit pricey and I just couldn't see paying the price the one that I've got here is about $179 at Sur La Top, and it's Emile uh, Henri. It looks like Emily Henry. I'm, I'm learning these words. Y'all, I had, I had just been wanting this so bad. See, it has a cone-shaped top, and when you put your food in there and cook it, the moisture goes up, condenses, and goes right back down, and it's a constant cycle that makes everything very tender. Anyway, I was looking on... Uh, Facebook Marketplace, here's the bottom, and um, guess what popped up? This popped up. They have them on sale right now at Sur La Table for $99, and I still couldn't get one. $35, and all I had to do was go pick it up. Hang on. So I've got a little car that's economical. So for about $4 worth of gas, I went to Houston. My husband went with me and we picked it up. It has never been used. So, uh, sneak peek. This will be the video that y'all will see tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned for a wonderful dish cooked in my brand new Tajin. Hey y'all, that was my son ringing my number. And I had forgotten to turn the bell off on my phone. So y'all got to hear his ring, but I told him to wait a minute. Okay, I've got my corn off the stove, and I drained it in a colander. So I'm going to put the camera down where y'all can see what I'm doing, and uh, we'll get this corn dish finished. It's really very simple and easy to make, and, and, and it's just big on taste. I put a half a stick of butter in here, and the recipe calls for a small onion diced, but I'm not going to put onion in it because um, some of the ones that are coming today don't like onions, so I'm going to use onion powder. And the flavor's just as good. I do this on holidays because my 
daughter and her kiddos. Well, one of them will eat onions, but the rest of them don't like onions. And so anyhow, I'm going to use onion and garlic powder. And you just want to melt all of that. And I'm using 12 ounces of cream cheese because I've got a pretty good bit of corn in there. I used uh, two packages, which is about 24 ounces, I think. I imagine I've got about eight cups of corn. So you'd want a little bit of extra uh, cream cheese. If you don't have as much uh, corn, then one pack of cream cheese is plenty, but you want it real creamy. So I'm gonna toss this around in this hot corn and let it melt, get soft where I can blend it all. Now in my little container here, I've got two tablespoons of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and I don't know how much black pepper. I just cranked it and I'm probably going to crank it some more here in a minute. We'll see. I'm going to let this all mix and then I'll add the can of peppers because I don't want to cool it down too much. I want my cream cheese and all to melt in it. I'll taste it for the seasoning here in a minute. I'm going to let it set just a jiffy down in the heat so it'll finish melting and then we'll stir it some more. This will be good for your Thanksgiving or Christmas meals for a side dish. Different than just corn with butter and salt and pepper and seasoning in it. It's, it has its own unique flavor and we really enjoy it. You know, maybe I'll do about half of them and then see if I need to add the rest. I'll put about, that's about half. Let's see how that tastes. I'll mix it good and taste it and see what we got going on here. I'm going to use the whole can because they're not hot. They just have that wonderful flavor. Okay, let me, I'll just use, you know, the peppers here and taste. Make sure I got the onion and the salt and all of that right. That's good. So, I don't have a recipe card, so I'm fixing to tell you what's in here. It's a either a big bag or two froze, a bags of frozen whole kernel corn, and you want to uh, saute that till it's tender and then drain it. Add a half a stick of butter and 12 ounces of cream cheese and let that melt in the hot corn. You're going to put two tablespoons of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and I use pink Himalayan, a bunch of black pepper, whatever you want, and then a can. This is the seven ounce can of uh, So that's all there is to it, folks. A good side dish for any time of the year, especially with the holidays coming up. And you could add a little bit of parsley flakes if you wanted a little more color in it. You could add a little bit of red bell if you wanted to. Depends on, you know, you can dress stuff up or down. That wouldn't change the flavor a whole lot. But what makes this wonderful is the cream cheese and the jalapenos or the chili peppers. So I hope y'all will try this. I'm going to um, clean my pot up here and get a picture so I can just use it in the pot because... This is for supper, and I don't want to plate it and all of that. So I'm just going to take a good picture in my pot here and um, so it, I can show it, and we'll be eating this for supper. Okay, tonight. here's a good close-up of the corn. See the peppers in it and the creamy sauce that's on it? Y'all need to try this one. Put it in your little recipe book. It's very good. Y'all, you've seen how pretty it looks, and I know how good it tastes. And y'all need to make some of this corn so you'll know how good it is. It's not hard. Just keep you some stuff on hand.
like we've talked about, keep your pantry stocked. Have you a can of peppers in the pantry and have you some cream cheese and butter and some frozen corn and you got a wonderful side dish that people going to like and they're going to want your recipe. It's good. Actually, what I'm doing today is, yesterday was my son-in-law's birthday. And every time one of their kids has a birthday, they get to pick where they want to eat out. They always include me and Troy, and of course Richard pays the tab. And on our special year birthdays, he takes us out and pays for the tab. So, I figured it was, and he rents a beach house every summer, and I get to go free. So I thought I would be kind to him and make him a birthday dinner. So I called him and I asked him what, uh, what would he want for a birthday dinner. What had he been hungry for? He said, oh, I've been wanting fried chicken, which he went to Kentucky Fried the other day to get him some. And it would have been 22 minutes and he just wouldn't wait. But anyhow, he said, and mashed potatoes and gravy. And um, I like green beans and some cornbread. I said, fried cornbread, like squeezy cornbread or baked? He said, squeezy cornbread. And he said, oh, oh yeah, and uh, pecan pie. So after a while, he called me back. He started in telling me how much he appreciated me going to make his meal. I said, okay, Richard, what else are you wanting to add to the menu? And he got tickled. And he wanted some of that corn with the peppers and the cream cheese in it. So that's his recipe. That's his menu tonight. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes, milk gravy, this corn, green beans, squeezy cornbread, and a pecan pie. I'll spoil him a little bit because he spoiled me a whole bunch through the years letting me go on those trips with him and taking us out to eat and I appreciate it. So anyway, I hope y'all do something with your family. It's fun to make memories and it's so, it just, it just makes my day when my bunch is gathered around my table eating and hopping up and down and getting seconds and because I usually leave the food back here and we just fix our plates buffet style. The table isn't big enough anymore to put the food on there with as many plates as we have around it. So anyhow, we're going to have a good supper after a while and enjoy some fellowship with my daughter and her family. And um, my son can wish he was here, but he's five hours away, so he won't get here in time. Y'all keep your little books out so you can write down the recipes and... Um, be planning to have a good meal whether you cook in Thanksgiving or not you have to feed your family every day so make your little recipe book and keep it handy where you can um, fix some of these dishes that I'm sharing with you because they're good I don't share anything I don't like if I tried a, bit, a recipe for the first time and I was videoing it and I didn't like it that video wouldn't get loaded because I don't want to lead y'all down the lane to a terrible bowl of food. I want it to be good. So y'all remember to spend some family time. Don't forget to help clean up in the kitchen when the meal's over. Teach your daughters to do that, mamas. You know, it's time for people in this generation to learn some old-fashioned manners. In the South, we say yes ma'am and no ma'am, yes sir and no sir. Now, some people don't do that, but that's a has to at our house. We just got some old-fashioned southern ways that we've tried to impart into our family. Don't forget to thank the good Lord for what He's done for you and, and be appreciative of all of His blessings. You know, you're faithful to Him and you go to church and you pay tithes and you give in your offerings. And the Bible says that He'll be given back. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. When I got that tagine for $35 that regular price is $179. I feel like that's a blessing. That's a return blessing from being faithful to Him. He keeps really good records. You can't out give Him and you can't out squeeze Him. You be stingy and your blessings won't flow as freely. But if you'll be good, big hearted and share and do your part for the good Lord and your friends and family, it all comes back to you. I am one blessed lady and I live a happy life. And I hope y'all will learn the joy of giving and then the fun part of receiving back. I'll see y'all tomorrow with a good tagine cooking uh, method going on. The good Lord bless you.